The crypto space is not totally understood by all, but in an effort to bring some education around the industry while also having some fun, the new TV show, The Next Crypto Gem, was born. Joining me now with more on this docu-series is director and writer of the show, Justin Bello. Justin, thanks so much for joining us thank today. You, thank you for having me. Yeah, so excited to talk about your career and this new TV series yeah. that a lot of people I know will be excited to watch. But before we get into that, I'd like to know how you first started here in the Bay Area, actually. You went to school for film, correct? Yeah, I went to Dominican University of California in San Rafael. I got to play golf for four years, uh, partial scholarship. Met some of the best friends and the best educators in my life. Uh -huh. um, my mentor was a lady named Melba Beals. She's like a Bay Area legend, and she was a reporter and huge civil rights icon, and she was my department chair of communications. Wow. And she really instilled in me a lot of the same... Uh, tools that I use today in terms of writing and directing. She was like my first entry into film. And then my other teacher, John Duvall, he was like the actual film professor. And so it's so funny, I went to Dominican yesterday. I hadn't been in like yeah. 13 years, walked around the campus, actually ran into an old friend and got to really? go. Really? Yeah, I got to go and uh, visit, you know, uh, my old dorm room and old classrooms and just all the locations on campus that I was yeah. filming, you know, these little student films at mm -hmm. and all these little shorts that I would do. And it was amazing. It was like, I never left and it felt exactly the same, mm -hmm. like, you know, just full of possibilities. And it reminded me of, you know, like, this is where it all started. Um, so it's just amazing to be back. That's incredible. Yeah. It's kind of like a full circle moment, a coming home to yeah. the Bay Area. It's nuts. I haven't been, have been to the Bay probably in, you know, three or four years, and I hadn't been on campus in a really long time. Yeah. Um, so it was really interesting. We're walking down the hallway of where I took sales and marketing classes, and the tack board of where I saw the flyer to go and learn about the art of film and video is literally wow. still there. Oh my gosh. So it was a trip. It was like reliving all these moments that I had back then, you know, yesterday. Oh my gosh. It was a trip. Like I couldn't believe like the same places, the same things. Doing the same things, right? Doing the same things, like walking down the hallway, distinctly remember being there, seeing mm -hmm. that, and then going to that class. And that was it. Because when I got to college, I really didn't know what I wanted to do. Mm -hmm. I loved golf. I loved playing. I loved competing. I played sports my whole life. But after the first semester freshman year, I knew I didn't want to pursue it, you know, all the way. I wanted to, to do something else, or at least try to do something else. And I knew I didn't want to be, you know, stuck in like a cubicle somewhere all day, but yeah. uh, I, I went and saw that flyer, I went to the class, and then after that first day, they stuck a camera in our hands, they said, go tell us a story, and I was hooked. It was like 45 minutes of walking around campus, bothering all my friends <laughs> to be in this little clip or whatever, yeah. and um, I knew I didn't want to do anything else. I told my guidance counselor I'm switching to film, and mm -hmm. that was it. That's amazing. Yeah. So, like you said, that was 13 years ago, and yeah. now here you are. Tell me about how you got into the film industry before we get uh, into the crypto gem. Yeah, so after I graduated, I got accepted to the Los Angeles Film School. It was a 13th-month program, and I studied writing, directing, cinematography, and then editing. And so I learned to edit on, back then it was Final Cut Pro 7, which was like the best program. <laughs> and then uh, I, I learned, remember Final Cut. You remember Final Cut? <laughs> like it was, it was the movie, because I think... Like, whatever that year was, like, I want to say, like, 2010, like, everybody was using it in mm -hmm. comparison to, um, you know, Avid. That's, yeah. like, the industry standard. Yeah. And then Premiere came out. And so I really got to hone my editing skills and more of the cinematography aspect. While when I was Dominican, it was more writing and directing. And so it was great. Um, I started working in the industry two weeks after I graduated. Mm -hmm. I was a production assistant on um, a reenactment show. And so literally my first job was, you know, going to get groceries and delivering coffee and picking up papers and yeah. like bottom man on the totem pole. But that's how everybody starts, you know, unless you have like a direct end to get into like a specific department, like mm -hmm. you're going to start off as a production assistant. And I loved it. I worked on the show for like two years. And then after that, it was commercials and features and other shows just in different departments as either a camera operator and assistant editor. And then eventually... Uh, writing and directing, all my own stuff. And like, I just kept writing, like any free time I had, because mm -hmm. production was crazy. It'd be like, you know, six days a week, 12 to 15 hours a day, whatever it was. And you do it all the time. So if I had any free time, like on a Saturday or Sunday, mm -hmm. I'm just in my room writing on my computer. Wow, and it, it seems like the hard work really did pay off because mm -hmm. now we're sitting here talking about the next crypto gem. Yeah. Can you tell me about this piece? What makes you excited about it? The thing that I'm most excited about is the fact that people can finally get educated on what cryptocurrency is. Mm -hmm. I think there's a lot of 
negative feeling towards the industry as a whole because a lot of people don't understand it. And so the first thing that we wanted to do with the show was number one, educate. Mm -hmm. What is cryptocurrency? What is the blockchain? What do these coins do? Why is it valuable? And I think once enough people learn about the industry, they'll be a little bit more inclined to want to take part in it. Because I think, you know, most of the news you hear about crypto, it's always the negative side of it or the people that took advantage of a specific area, mm -hmm. right? Yeah. And like that's highlighted and it's amplified to so many different places all the time. It kind of gets lost in the shuffle about all the benefits that you can have of it. And I really didn't know a lot about crypto when I first, you know, got hired for the, for the job. But throughout the process of meeting the judges that we have on the show, which are like some of the top minds in the space, and then a lot of the contestants and just the entire production team, like the yeah. people behind the scenes that were really honing in on why we need to talk about certain aspects first. Mm -hmm. And you'll see it in the episodes. It's like we wanted to highlight the building blocks of what the space is before telling you about all the projects that we're going to offer. Oh, amazing. So yeah. it kind of breaks everything down in that aspect. And I know you said education is really the big driving force mm -hmm. behind this. But what else can people expect when they tune in? They can expect to have a lot of fun. I mean, you know, our contestants are really good people. They, uh, they have a lot of energy and passion for their projects and the space as a whole. And that was the other thing. It was like being on set with the judges and the contestants it was like you could tell how excited everybody was every day because they live and breathe crypto. Mm -hmm. And so you're on set with a bunch of people that really didn't understand it yeah. yet, you know? Yeah. But after, you know, the first two or three days, everybody was, you know, in sync with why we were doing what we were doing and how excited it was to finally tell the world, like, hey, this is the good aspects of it. Yeah. Here are the people that have been involved in the space since the beginning. And I'm really excited for people to check it out. Our challenges are a lot of fun. Mm -hmm. um, and... Uh, it's a good time. Like every every episode. I see it. I see the passion like, on your face. I yeah. love it. It's making me excited. <laughs> it's it's like you know they they compete in different you know competitions and yeah. then um, depending on how well they do, that'll determine if they make it to uh, you know the next round. Yeah. And so um, we have some really amazing amazing uh, sharks that would be the investors. And so you know one of our biggest influences obviously Shark Tank and uh, The Apprentice, like, you know, from back, oh, yeah, that's, from way back yeah. when. Mm -hmm. um, just because you have different teams competing mm -hmm. in exercises that they're not comfortable with. So it's like you have these people that know a lot about the crypto space, but then all the challenges we're making them do, like they're not accustomed to it. Yeah. You know, they don't, they don't necessarily know how to make a video or to do certain things um, to, to market their project or to talk about it. Mm -hmm. So it's a lot of fun watching them figure out how to tackle another, you know, yeah. subject matter, right, while still promoting themselves. Oh my gosh. Well, it sounds amazing. And really quickly, before yeah. I let you go, when is it launching? When can people expect to see it? Yes, yeah, so the show comes out on September 7th on DirecTV, and then it'll also be available on Bespoke TV. Uh -huh. um, Michael Dutcher is the creator of the show and the executive producer, and so his company Bespoke, the ones that created it, and so you can watch it there. And then we'll also be available on different platforms uh, through Samsung, uh -huh. as well as Roku and uh, Firestick. Amazing. Justin, thank you so much for joining us today. I really appreciate it. And talking about the next crypto gem. Well, thank you for having me. Of course.